Welcome back to another episode of Fixer Fab. It's been a minute. Uh, today, we're going to try and insulate my... Not insulate the whole garage, but we're going to try to insulate with uh, great stuff. Three weeks later. And one bag costs 15, 16 bucks. So... Holy shit. <laughs> I, I just started looking and look what happened. Dude, that's, well, just to see, I know this could be expensive. I'm just thinking of a better idea. Use this three inch big gap. <clears throat> and so I have this hole in my exterior wall that has a speaker that went in it. And what we're doing is we injected great stuff on the bottom. A whole can. I went through the. This is where the previous owner put the cord through for the uh, speaker that does the surround sound. <clears throat> so I was hoping that the thermal camera that I got on Amazon would show the heat coming from the foam, but maybe it's hasn't reached the outer surface yet. So. It is not warm out, so I'm not sure why it shows that the wall is warm. I just turned the heat on not long ago. So obviously that blue there in the middle, that's where the speaker was. That's the exterior wall, obviously. And the upper cavity. I want to... S and that's a sign. I only want to say it's probably red warm because heat has gone through the drywall. Dryer wall. I mean, you can still kind of see the studs there. But, yeah, so, anyways, look at my. So, there's a room above this garage, a bedroom. So you can see where it's insulated and then where it's not. So, obviously, there is no insulation in the ceiling as well. But we're going to let this sit and see one see if i can see heat from the thermal camera through the cavity wall two i'm gonna let it set up stick a tape measure down here to see how far that can that one can of foam expands um i know some people are like what's well, gonna explode your wall it's gonna explode your wall well is it though at one can at a time we'll see again this is just an experiment um we're just gonna figure out once it cures to see how much of a cavity that fills up, right? So there's nobody that I can find around here that does injection foam, uh, spray foam or whatever. Injection foam, you can't use spray foam. It has to be injection foam, so low rise. Uh, so it doesn't explode the wall, obviously. I can do cellulose too, cellulose, but I haven't seen anybody that does that yet. Um, that Or anybody has returned my phone calls. So again, this is just an experiment figure it out I mean I'd imagine if I did the whole, all the walls with spray foam it'd be very expensive but you gotta remember like my living room stops right about there so all all of that is insulated right and then this this whole wall here all that is insulated because that goes to the house so what I'm trying to insulate is from here all the way to the corner and obviously that whole exterior wall there uh, the garage doors are insulated. Imagine these areas around here are not insulated. Um, but we're going to give it, I'm going to read the can. I should probably read the instructions before I use it. Uh, see what the cure time is and we'll be back after that. Okay, this is where I'm at. <clears throat> Second can. And I keep these above the register and the bathroom in the house. That way they're always warm. As I don't know when I start this project. Uh, Second can been about 30 40 minutes um I said I've had minimal come out of here it's still tacky I measured it at 15 minutes and then just now 30 40 minutes this is just one can um let's see how deep it is so you figure the seal plate inch and a half right up to there so 
was about ten and a half inches for one can. <laughs> this might be expensive. Um, and something else I found out after reading the can, after putting it in the wall, was let's see, where is it at? Not to be used for filling closed cavities or voids. Oops. But I'm sure that's just like a, hey, we told you so in case you put it in your wall like an idiot and it explodes the wall. You know, it pushes the drywall off or pushes the siding out or whatever. So, I think we're right. It stopped expanding. I'm going to put the second can in. Yeah, let's do that. I do have a time-lapse camera just to view the progress. Let's turn the light on. See if I can do this without getting grease off everywhere. <laughs> this is hard. Can I do this? Oh. Okay, second can's in. Again, don't do this, okay? If you watch this at home, or you're watching your truck while you're driving like some people do, uh, don't do this. Um, I'm just, just an experiment, just goofing around. Obviously, if you go 10 and a half inches for one can of foam, that's like, what, five, six, seven bucks? It's like, I don't know, 100 bucks? Uh, a thing, a void, you know, that's going to get out of hand pretty quick. So, yeah, we're just messing around. So. All right, let's wait and see how far that expands. Okay, we're back. We're on day two of this blowing up my walls with great stuff. Um, so, it's fully cured. I'll show you inside. You can see... A little part of it popped up through this stuff on the right. See that stuff? Yeah, they're kind of just... So I guess it wasn't full of here when I put like the third can on maybe or something. I don't know. But that, that was new. <clears throat> but... Um, and so I marked it on the wall. This is the first can that injected through that speaker wire hole. Second can, third can. So... All together... Um, that's getting expensive. That's what, 21 bucks plus or minus to go, <clears throat> to go 29 inches. No, it's not consistent. We got 13 inches in the first one, 22 on this one. So, and then only up to 29 inches there. So seven inches in a third can. So I did see on Amazon, you can get 20 ounce cans where I was using 12 ounce cans. Um, but I went to Lowe's. And I was looking and I found this. This is 24 ounce cans. It's kind of vague, but it does say it fills cavities. Let's see. Uh, where does it say cavities? Cavities. Oh, maybe it's instructions, yeah. Shake well, fill cavity. It says, fill, actually it says cavity. Fill 
cavity only one third full with foam to allow for expansion. What what size cavity? Don't say that. But we're just gonna fill it. So I'm hoping, you know, this is twice the size of the can. I'm hoping we can get all the way up to the top. So let's spray it in there. I did stumble upon this. You guys might know what this is. This is a set fence post. I wanted another brand that they didn't have a Lowe's and Home Depot has, which I put up here. But this supposedly, this supposedly replaces one 50 pound bag of concrete. Oh no, this one, okay, hold on. So this replaces approximately 80 pounds of concrete. The ones at Home Depot replaces two 50 pound bags of concrete. It's about the same price. That was like 16 bucks or something. So, the idea was to try that, you know, because that's, I'll have to do the, I'll have to do the calculation, but I think one and a half of those bags will fill one and a half, I'm sorry, one bag will fill one and a half stud cavities. I got nine foot ceilings, you know, three and a half inches deep, 16 inches on center, whatever they are. And we're going to try that next. We're going to try that on the other side. Where the other speaker is, it's behind the screen. I don't know why they did that, but there's a there's a speaker over there and the speaker in the middle, but it's behind the projector screen. I don't. I, I'm half tempted to get rid of the speakers because there's speakers in the ceiling too. There's one I can't look, one there, and one there. So, and right now I'm using a very analog. Um, it doesn't have HDMI ports. It's like 15 years old. Or better. So right now I'm just using a sound bar and I got the subwoofer over in the corner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got a lot of projects going on. I still got to finish the truck. I got a leaky, leaky back tire. I'm trying to figure. I looked at it once. I'm going to get the light on it. I'm trying to look for a nail. I still got to finish the Subaru. I had broken coil springs. So if you want, if you're interested, subscribe to the channel and you can see my other videos. On all my other build, on all my other builds. All right, let's get this going. I would say this 24 ounce can did not, you, know, you would think it'd spray twice as long as a 12 ounce, 12 ounce gray stuff can. I would say it doesn't. Again, this is just an experiment, okay? Don't go home, brand new walls of gray stuff. You saw it on TV. Okay, we're a couple days later. Uh, we work at working on, it's pretty far up there. Yeah, looks good. Maybe another half can, regular great stuff. I took the speakers out of the middle and the left. I'm gonna try and fish out that drywall that's in there. It's down there. Try and get that out. And then this cavity, I'm probably gonna not put anything in there because that's got the audio cables for those speakers and then the HDMI cord. I'm gonna leave that last, but there's a stud there. There's three studs here for some reason. So that's why I cut this one here. And then I'll have to cut. Yeah, I'll have to cut another one. Try and fill that void there. But I think that's, this is open. All right. Can't see, can you see? Yeah. So I'm gonna fill this void in the middle, this void, and this void. So I don't know how far this is gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot. Now I am kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't want to explode my walls, and I did put plastic down. I, I dextered it a little bit, so let's give it a go. Okay, uh, read the instructions. The only thing it's not, I'm following, it's gotta be 
the stuff's got to be up to temperature and my garage is at 47 degrees and this says it has to be at 60 60 degrees can't even read anymore 65 to 80 degrees so I don't know why I'm mixing this but I got a bag to throw it in hopefully it will contain it so I'm going to pull this out mix it back and forth like I'm shoe shining I'm gonna cut the corner and start corn. So, wish me luck. <laughs> kind of nervous. <laughs> I almost feel like it's gonna be like the elephant's tooth, the elephant's bubble gum toothpaste. It's just gonna start coming out. Okay. Okay. That mix for 30 seconds. I'm gonna pull this off. By spreading out three holes, it will uh, it will uh, not overflow. Oh god! Already making. Fence. Let's get you in there and see how we did. Okay, I don't can't see like you can. Is it expanding? I don't think so. I didn't take that drywall out. see anything. Okay. I had to stop recording because it's running out of uh, storage. But it looks like it's expanding slowly. But that's probably because it was cold. Can you see in there? I can't see it with the reflection. That's expanding. And third day, I would say that's expanding too. Okay, now, I have to leave this alone. Uh, I have to go pick up my girls from daycare. But hopefully, my walls don't explode or there's not elephant toothpaste. Great stuff, post foam all over, everywhere. It should be good. I might put another piece of plastic just to cover this here. 
but I'll be back in an hour or so and good luck. This might be a great alternative to spray foam. Obviously, it might, might, my whole thing behind this is I don't want to tear down all this drywall, drywall, drywall. Anyway, um, you know, I got cabinets. My, I just assumed the wall's already insulated because it's the drywall is so nice, finished, sanded, butted, painted. I just assumed it was insulated. I mean, it's a nicer house. I just assumed, no. Uh, I knew the attic wasn't insulated because I had gone up there during the pre house inspection thing. But, yeah. So I think if this works out, I'll probably just put two by fours up here, right? Um, that way the cavity for the speakers is not filled with foam. And I'll drill holes up at the top, foam that, and I'll just keep going, just keep going all the way around. If it works, hopefully it works. And it is closed cell foam, which I wanted for moisture, doesn't absorb moisture, whatever. You notice I shave my beards for a mask, but yes, I have. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in an hour. Okay, this has been gone an hour. It's not bad. I'll have to measure it. Here's the circle hole. Yeah, I think it was because the bag was too cold. Yeah. I'm going to get a couple more bags tomorrow. So, so that's this hole, this middle hole, and that hole. Okay, so day three, we're back. If you look, we measured, assuming that's a stud, you know, the base, inch and a half. We got five and a quarter inches of fill from when we divided it up yesterday. You just gotta see some of the foam sticking out there. It's pretty hard. Um, yeah, so five and a quarter inches. So we didn't get much rise from the last time we looked. I went and bought three more bags, but I bought the different brand. I brought this brand. Uh, let's see how this works. So let's mix it up and see how it goes. Now this is warm. Came from the store. Put it in the floor of my truck. Drove straight here. Had the heat on. The garage is. But I gotta set it at 64 in here right now. I just turned the heat off. Um, let's give it a go. Okay, so this product says 15 seconds. And I think the other stuff was 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. So, and then this one, you gotta first seal. Is just ready here. 15 seconds isn't long. I'm about to open the first hit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay, cut the corner here. We never spin that reason, but it's not expanding yet. Let's pour it in there. Oh, it's black. No, this is not mixed well. Oh, it's getting warm. See what happened. The light. Well, it's rising. You can see it. Oh shit! It's coming up. <laughs> this is cool. Hopefully, it doesn't explode the wall. That would be nice. <laughs> coming up. I mean, it's working. 
I'm gonna one X zoom. Two X zoom. This is crazy. So this is real time. It's supposed to cure in fifteen minutes, I think. I'll have to look. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> Again, don't try this at home. I don't know, this might work. I might divide up one bag against between two voids, two walls, just to, uh, and you can see it's coming on the top left side there. Oh, yeah, it's getting mad. It's getting mad. Yeah, I think next time I'll divide up one bag, I'll mix it better. And divide it against two cavities. Okay, one egg zoom. So it gives it a little bit more space to dissipate. Let's see. It's not leaking out or anything. Oh, I hear something. It's either the rain outside or the walls are expanding. Yeah, it's cracking. Yep. This is a bad idea. You hear it? I wonder if it's coming through in here. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Is it? No. Oh. I don't think it is. It's coming out there. That that's new. Oh shit! Let's go look outside. Okay, we're good outside. I thought for sure it was gonna come out through there. Maybe it is the rain. Holy shit! You gotta see this. Okay, uh, hold on. I got my thermal camera. You gotta see this. The wall is hot. Let me turn this off. Christ, this is 70 degrees, 71 degrees. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> that's really hot. All right, so that green spot there, that's that drywall that was piece that I didn't pick up. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. I mean, it filled a good, good void. I mean, for 15 bucks or whatever that bag is, I would definitely. Okay, let's see what it is inside the cavity. 130 degrees. 132. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I would. Man, what is? Again, I don't have any experience with regular, like real spray foam, but um, I feel like that's. Don't pour the whole bag in there. Not gonna do that again. Definitely divide it up, 
maybe that into three bays like I did because we did this one the circle one and then this one here um, probably two bays we'll try that maybe tomorrow but yeah wasn't bad okay so I came outside and I didn't look yesterday but I feel like that's new uh, on the thermal camera it's a little warm but then if you look at the wall the wall is definitely warm I mean 44 is the highest yeah <laughs> so that we definitely got which I don't know if that was from yesterday but I mean if that shows anything you know that's obviously that's air was escaping or what do you want to call it hmm yeah it's definitely definitely warm there all right I think we're gonna call it we're gonna break this up into two parts so was it a success yes but that phone that escaped outside oh some did come out hold on but I did use a can. No, what did I use? No, nope. yeah, that was yesterday. So that was yesterday. We used that first bag of post foam. So some did come out. Some came out right there. So. Hey, what are we coming to this? Yes, it works. Um, don't use a whole bag. Definitely break it up. Is it cost effective? I don't know yet, but I have to do the math. But we did get, I did measure. This is where we started. This is, you know, that yesterday when we split it up. We went from there to all the way up here. 32 and a half inches with one bag. And one bag cost 15, 16 bucks. So, holy shit. I just started looking and look what happened. <laughs> Dude, that's. <laughs> well, <sighs> I guess that answers that. <laughs> and that was the can foam. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, well. That's probably definitely going to explode, that bag, because that got way hotter than the can foam. <sighs> Looks like this video was for nothing. Well, it did prove that it's a bad idea. Um, let me process this. This may not be the end. I'll be right back. I'm going to think. i got to go get my girls from daycare. <laughs>